When you're writing a how-to paper, you want to make sure to keep the steps very clear, simple language that everybody's going to understand. You don't want to write like that guy in, high, in my college class who said you had to throw a loop to tie your shoes because that's something that he understood, but it's not something that everybody understands. Okay, did you know that there are things that maybe you understand or words or phrases, but not everybody in the world understands? Did you know that? Growing up, my dad used words like digger," and um, what's the other one he used? He used some words that he just, I guess he just made up. But my whole family thought that they were real words, like all of my brothers and I thought they were real words. And when we went to college, again, another college story, we would use these words and people would be like, what are you talking about? And what's funny is my brothers and I were like, oh, what is this? We would define the word. We could spell the word. We go look for it in the dictionary. Guess what? It wasn't there because my dad had made up these nonsense words and used them just to be silly, I guess. And we all what's thought they were real words. I watched them a digger. Yeah. So, uh, Anyway, so there might be some words and stuff that you know or phrases, but that are not common phrases. So when you're doing a how-to paper, keep your language simple. The other part is to make sure you don't skip any steps. When he said you cross the laces and you tuck one lace under and pull it down tight, that was good. But then he said you throw a loop. One, the language was confusing. Two, it seemed like maybe he skipped a step, okay? Because don't you have to cross the laces again and tuck the loop through and stuff? So be very careful not to skip any steps, okay? Now, um, what is something that we did? Hold on here. Okay, so I am going to just give you an example how-to paper. Okay, this is what we're doing today, sequential order. This is hard. How to, oh, no, 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 no. We are going to do it on, remember when we made those straw rockets? Yes. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down the steps, and I have to think really carefully, what did we do first? Okay? Okay. First, we need our... Supplies. Our we supplies. Videos. We needed a straw, paper, an index card, <laughs> and scissors. We had tape, and scissors, and, scissors. and then a pencil. And then we had just your name And we needed to curl it up in the. Okay. Hold on, we didn't curl it first. So first we have to gather our supplies, right? Yeah. Now, depending on what you're doing, you don't always have to put your supplies first, but whatever you choose to write your how-to paper on, okay? And do we ever start our papers? My name is Mrs. Raymond, and I'm going to tell you how to... No. Please don't, okay? Start it with a hook, okay? Have you ever been bored? Yes. Yes. So much. So many times, especially. <laughs> okay. Love you, Gabe. All right. Gabe says he's bored at school. Okay. Have you ever been bored? So there's my hook. And it gets people in because they're like, oh, yeah, I've been bored. Let's no, see what they're going to say next. No, I haven't. Next time you're bored. Thank you. Yep. Your, and this is your, you are bored. You can make a straw rocket with a few simple supplies. Yeah, we don't want to say stuff. Okay, a few simple supplies, comma, I'm going to do a list, a straw. Oh, look what happened to my S. It snuck up there. And an index card. Paper. Tape. And scissors. Oh, yeah, 
Did we use two? No, we yeah, used one. Yeah, I needed one to cut it. Um, oh, yeah. For the little triangle things that one. Yeah, the one and one so we can wrap it around. It was one index card. Okay. Now, before I start my paper, I'm going to brainstorm the list of steps. Okay. First, we folded that index card into quarters and cut it. Okay. We took one piece and rolled it around the straw. Okay, I'm just brainstorming the steps real quick. Okay, let's see, what did we do next? After we rolled it around this straw, um, I might want to put loosely because we didn't want it super tight. Then we taped it. Okay. Um, let's see, next we, didn't you flatten the nose of the, then you flattened yes. it, flattened one end. Yes. Okay. This is so good. Flatten and tape. Okay, I'm just brainstorming a list real quick. Then we cut triangles out of one of the other cards. I'm the separate right hand. This is notes. I'm just gonna and tape to um, unflattened end. Okay, you have to you have to tell me because if you say tape it to the end, they don't know which end, the end that you flattened and taped or the other end. Okay. And once we got those on, then we were able to go outside and shoot our rocket, right? Okay. So the final step would be to put the rocket on straw. And then to blow on it. Okay. Okay. Guys, this could be something as simple as a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yes, I was going to do that. Okay. It doesn't have to be something. This is a little bit complicated. Okay. I'm just kind of showing you the process that I'm using. Okay. I decided my, my supplies and then I wrote down the steps that we did to make those straw rockets, okay? I started with an introduction. I started started with a hook and I listed my supplies. That's a good introduction. Sir, if you cannot keep that under control, I will have to take it. It should be up on the corner of your desk. It should only be touched if you're getting a drink and then put the lid back on and set it down and leave it alone, okay? Okay, so, and I didn't start with my name. I didn't start with I just did a regular introduction, okay? 